Alright, boys, how we doing? It's your boy Marcus over here kicking it off here a little freestyle Friday action. Let me ask you guys a question, man. You guys ever buy a game and not really know what the hell you're buying? <laughs> so that's what I bought right here, man. I bought myself the Metro Collection, the Metro 2033, and then the first like collection just came out on Xbox One Remastered. Um, and PS4 as well. I got an Xbox One. Uh, <laughs> and you know, I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, I just purchased a game. I can't even tell you what this game's about. Like, I don't, I have absolutely no clue what this game's about. Like, there's no way in hell that I even know what this game's about. Um, so I went out on a limb with it. Uh, and honestly, I'm, I'm showing you guys literally the beginning of the game of Metro 2033. Um, I put it in the mode where there's less ammo, more scarcity, kind of how the game came out originally. and what is it? So it's a little more survival-based rather than action-based or whatnot. Um... I think I, I mean I don't really know I wasn't I had no clue what to expect honestly I'd seen the game when it came out back in the 360 and I remember I was intrigued by it I was like hmm seems like a pretty interesting concept dude and these total like vault type things uh, subway type things metro type things um, in Russia okay I might be able to give this a shot I got pretty good reviews so I was like I might check this out. But you know how things work, man. Sometimes you don't get around to games. And, you know, between the Call of Duties and the Assassin's Creed's every year and the Grand Theft Autos and the Red Dead Redemptions, you know, Metro game might slip by. Um, so it seemed pretty cool time. I was like, hey, you know, it's the end of summer. Once, whenever I'm done playing Diablo, which is, you know, usurping what I know as my life, uh, I'll, I'll dip into Metro and whatnot, and I'll dip into some of the backlog I got from the free games that we got uh, via Xbox uh, Live, uh, you know, the Xbox Gold program, and also via the, the PlayStation Plus kind of deal. I mean, that's kind of where I do most of my experimenting these days, is those free games. I always download them every month, see what's going on, see what's happening over there. Some of them are, you know, uh, you're pretty, like, good, like, you, you could download Dishonored and you know you're getting yourself a hell of a game. You could download Halo Reach on September 16th and you know you got yourself a good game. Other of them, I don't really know. You know, you got the Crimson Dragoon game, I haven't even played it, all I've heard is bad stuff about it. You got the other game that came out last month, which I heard is pretty bad stuff about. You got the Guacamelee Turbo Edition thing, which all I've heard is amazing stuff about. You got Super Time Force, which I actually was tempted to buy when it came out. I'm kind of glad I didn't because it came out for a couple months later. Um, you got Velocity 2X, which I'm very excited to try out. Hopefully, I'm going to get my, my, my teeth into that this weekend uh, for the PlayStation Plus as well that that game came out. Uh, it, you notice the theme here, how a lot of those games, like I said, were indie. Um, but that's what a lot of the innovation is coming out in the industry. Uh, and... I, I can't warn myself to pay twenty dollars for Velocity Two X for an indie game. It's just not. I don't know. Uh, it's not something that I, I'm willing to do at this point. But you give me for free? Yeah, I'm downloading it. Yeah, I'm playing it. I'll tell you what. If it's good, Velocity Two X, Velocity Three X, I'm probably gonna buy that thing. And I think that's something that, that you get with this uh, with this experience. You know, uh, I'm trying to think. You know, Max: The Curse of Brotherhood, for example. I played that game. It was solid. It was it was an entertaining game. I enjoyed it. It wasn't anything crazy. And here's why I was uh, I looked at this. I'm like, what is Metro? Uh, it wasn't anything crazy, but you best believe when they announced maybe a Metro, a Max Metro, <laughs> Metro Brotherhood. When they announced a Max Curse of Brotherhood Part uh, Part 2, I might dabble into it. You know, obviously it'll depend on what other games coming out at the time and whatnot, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it and be like, man, I kind of enjoyed the first game. Maybe I'll pick up the second game. Uh, so Metro, I had no idea what I was going to fight in this game. I thought it was humans on humans. Uh, the the story at the beginning of the game kind of told you that we fought a new enemy. And I was like, oh man, it's like a super soldier or something? I think it was going to be some sort of like werewolf type, like killer wolves type thing. Like, And wait till we get outside here and just the madness that ensues over here. And I actually thought you died at the end of this part. And uh, I thought, I was like, damn, I, I stink. Like, I, I don't really do a good job here. But there was like a cutscene afterwards. So I think it's part of the game. Hopefully. And afterwards, you continue kind of on with with your next mission and whatnot. Um, so I'm excited. I mean, let me let me know in the comments below, man. What games you guys just go on a limb and yet? Yeah, because it's been a really long time. I felt feel like since I've gone out on a limb and just bought a game that I don't really know much about, and I just dropped fifty dollars on, and I said, YOLO. I, I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be a good game. There's a difference too. Like I didn't know what Diablo 3 was 100%, but I knew what Diablo was. I knew what the formula of Diablo was, but I didn't know what Diablo 3 changed in it. But I knew it had to be a good game, and I knew I was going to get it. So there's differences, you know. Uh, I kind of stay away from a lot of the Advanced Warfare stuff, aside from the stuff that I put in my videos. Um, but I know what that game essentially is going to be about. Metro, though, a new IP, I really had no clue what this thing was about. So it was just, you know, uh, dive into the deep end. I was like, well, you know, let's see what happens over here. 
I honestly haven't done that in this generation. Uh, you know, let me just look at my games right now. You got Assassin's Creed Black Fact. You know what Assassin's Creed is. Diablo, you know what Diablo is. FIFA, you know what FIFA is. The Last of Us, I kept myself uh, abrasive from learning anything about that game. But I knew that it was a masterpiece. I knew it was a survival kind of horror game. I knew what that was. And I know what this game... I, I think I know what this game is. It's like a survival action game, Metro, for what I've understood of it. But I thought I was fighting humans this whole time. I didn't know I was fighting these crazy creatures. You got Metro, Rayman, Titanfall, and Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider might have been the... Even Tomb Raider... I mean, you kind of... Like, if you saw a little bit of it, you'd realize... Oh, I know what this is. This is, you know, pretty much uncharted. Uh, except not as good. Uh, <laughs> sorry, so no, me no disrespect for that, but uh, it, it isn't as good. Check this out. I'm gonna help out my boy, but I'm waiting for him to tell me to shoot. Then somebody kicks me, kicks me, and I'm like, "Yo, what's going on?" Cause I didn't even get a chance. I'm like, "What the hell is hitting me?" I don't, I don't even know what this game is gonna be. I can't even imagine what the sequel is gonna be. I'll tell you one thing: it is gonna be, it's gonna be pretty damn fun. I expect to see some more episodes of this coming on. Though we got a jam-packed month this month: GTA, PT, Extinction Mode. Woo! We got some good videos coming these Fridays. Enjoy the weekend.